it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, we're gonna have a little fun. So today's tip and trick is a little different. We are gonna go over some features. Last week or so, I got an email from one of the members in our community sharing how much she enjoys the open windows feature within QuickBooks, and it's something I use all the time. And it made me start thinking a little bit about a lot of the features that I use within QuickBooks, and I wanna share them with you. So come look over my shoulder and I'll teach you how. So let's get in here and just have a little bit of fun. I often talk about navigation and understanding where you're at within QuickBooks, so I'm not really gonna talk about that much today. I'm actually gonna talk about some of the other features. So I am actually in the 2016, you'll notice it's purple. It's purple only because actually I love the color purple. So one of the things, I've talked about this in other videos, but I'll teach you is how do you change the color? So sometimes my mood changes or I have multiple company files and I'll go in and I'll actually change the color so that I know when I'm opening up one company over another, which one I'm in conveniently. You go under edit preferences, desktop view, and down here it says company file color scheme. And you can go in here and you can change it to a blue gray. See right up here where it says preferences, you'll see it changes. Now, does it change everything? No, but it does give it, that one's a little too bright for me. It does give it just a little something fun to look at. That's one of the things I wanted to show you today. Now, another one is here under edit preferences. You have multiple windows or only one window. I'm, I like to have multiple windows open at one time because I go in and I do different things. At QuickBooks, I'll look at different different areas with at one time. So I like the multiple selected, save whenever I close the company file. I always do that and show your homepage when you're first opening. That's another thing that I often do because I, a lot of times I teach from the homepage because it makes more sense usually for other people. So that's up to you. That's an option you can choose. Another tip that I often give people, I do enough transactions within QuickBooks on a daily basis that I don't like hearing the beep sound. So when you go here under general on the left and you see my preferences, it says keep um, beep when it records a transaction. When you're new to QuickBooks, sometimes that's beneficial for the fact that then you know it recorded it. But if you're at the end of the year or you're catching up at year end transactions that you're behind on, I often recommend unmarking that so every time you create something new, you don't hear beep, beep, beep. At least for me, that's one of the tips that I'll give you that I really appreciate. Some other ones in here are press enter to move between fields. So these are all just options that you can choose. What you can always do is select an option, try it out. If you don't like it, you can always change it. You can unselect it. Automatically place a decimal point. So if you don't wanna to have to push, put the decimal point in, you just wanna put numbers in, you can use that. It's not a feature I use, but you're welcome to. Warning if you're editing a transaction. That's a great idea if you're if you're not familiar with QuickBooks, you're making changes, you wanna let have it warn you. I even use that feature. You can leave that marked. And then you can come over here and you can see messages, all these different options that you can keep QuickBooks running for quick startup. I don't run that just because I don't want to slow my computer down, but if you're in QuickBooks all the time, you could have that if you want. One of the ones I highly recommend is actually this automatic recall. This will save you a lot of time if you're at the end of the, if you're, you know, at the beginning of the year as we are right now, and you're trying to enter in all your transactions. I even did it the other day. My husband, just a little insight. The other day I was doing a bunch of data entry. I was way behind on my own bookkeeping. And I say that in my videos, I teach QuickBooks, but I get behind, I get it. I said that last week in my video. So I was even having to do that the other day and um, I appreciate the recall feature. So you wanna click automatically recall accounts or transactions, and then you can have automatically recall the last one for that name or pre-filled based on vendor. The vendor one is when you're under vendors, I'll show you real quick. Vendors, vendor center, and anything you have in here, let's just say it's this one, whatever you have under, you're under your vendor, whatever you have under account settings, these here, expenses, those are where it automatically prefills. That is not something I typically use, even though it was check marked. What I prefer is actually edit preferences, general, automatically recall the last transaction for the name. So wherever you spent the money, automatically recall the last one. Highly recommend that. Then you can also choose for your dates, depending on if you're doing old data entry or if you're always in the current date. If you're always in the current date, you wanna select use the current date as your default. If you're not and you're behind and you're doing data entry, if you use the other one, the use the last date entered, wherever you were at at the last time you entered it, it will keep you in there. So it really just depends how you do your bookkeeping, what you have going on. All right, so there's just a few, there's tons of them, 
but those are the ones we'll worry about for that section today. The other thing is in the 2016 version, you can hit this little arrow, which I've talked about before, and it collapses it and it'll make this screen larger. You can come in here and these are all little shortcuts of things going on. This is the home screen you're on. You can click on my company. You can look at your customers from here. You can click on this and scroll it down. And you can look at your vendors. I said that your customers, your vendors, your employees. So this allows you to look at a lot of different things, your reports, bunch of stuff over here. These are some new things. You can also customize your shortcuts. You can have your opening balances. You can have your favorite reports. You can have your open windows list. What this does, this is what she was mentioning before. So one of the things you can do that I actually really like is I actually go up here. This is this is how I usually customize my QuickBooks for my own personal use. I'll do the icon bar to the top. So under view, I take this sidebar and instead of it being on the side, I put it to the top. So I click top and that puts it up here on top. Then what I do is I go open window list to the left. So if I'm doing like a lot of transactions, I'll click on this over here to the left. Click on my home screen which is here, we'll make it full size. So I'm just kind of giving you some, don't be so scared of QuickBooks. That's my tip for today, I guess. Of everything, my biggest tip, do not be so scared of QuickBooks. Go in and start clicking around, see what it does. You can always change it. So if you like your icon bar on the left, you just click left icon bar and there it is. So just depends what you need. Go in, you can change your icon, you can customize it if you have it on the top. You can come in here and you can remove the ones you don't need up here and change it. It really depends on what you, how you want QuickBooks to look. You can take off the open window list and just have it full size with the icon bar on top. Like all these things are just features that you can choose. One other thing I'll share with you today is under windows. Here you click on window. You can either go here and select the different types of windows you have open. You can close them all at one time if you want. So if you have multiple windows open, at the end of the day, you just wanna close them all, you can click close all. The other thing you can do is actually do vertical. So everything's on vertical, or you can do everything considered horizontal. And then it's changes how it looks, cascade. And that's more like this where, there, where you can click on them and move them around. You can click close all and they all close. So it really depends what you want. So I hope that's been fun for you today. I just thought we'd do a little something different. Have a little fun. Change things up just a little bit. Have an amazing day. I will talk to you guys soon. Oh, one thing I want to say. I am getting ready to start doing some live webinars. If you want to have access to be able to get on my live webinars, learn things from me live, we're going to cover different areas of QuickBooks, different business types. I will put a link below and you can put your name and email and as the webinars are coming available, I will send you an email and you can decide which webinar works for you. They'll be on different topics. I will talk to you soon. Have an amazing day. Take care. See you guys next week.